using the darkest dark, just flowing, moving your hand with the direction of the water. I'm going to let this paper do a lot of the work as well and leave a lot showing through, which is one of the other benefits to using pastel. Next tone, still flowing with the water. Every mark you make contributes to your water scene. Where is it lighter? Where is it darker? Where is it warmer? Where is it cooler? It's lovely to watch this white water when you're out at the beach and look for the patterns that you see. Stirring up some amazing looking purples. So you just have to look for color. Look for that tone. It's just putting a lot of warm greens in through the water as well. Warm greys, a lot of umber. Sometimes if you can't pick what a colour is uh, and it makes you say, um, it's probably umber. So just pick a nice umber to put through there. I hope you enjoyed that quick demonstration of how to paint wet sand and shallow water. I hope it helps you next time you're trying to paint your next seascape. Thanks.